Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing your monthlies. This is for January. Okay, it's like calendar girls. Pa -da -pa -da -pa -calend oh, January 2023. Let's see what you guys have for me. Let's see what's going on for you guys. For my Libra. At this time, Mercury is retrograde. Saturn is gonna go um, to Aquarius. Um, a little bit of the third week of... Um, uh january okay midweek of january mercury goes direct right now retrograde okay let's see for the libra oh i feel like a mellow energy okay mm -hmm. so from what i'm seeing here is as you come into 2023 january this month is about choices this month is about trying your best not to repeat some actions that you've done probably previous month. So a lot of thinking. The first card is the strongest and it is swords, which means thoughts, process. Two is a number of partnership, crossroads in the numerology. Um, there's a moon behind the two of swords, which means... You probably feel right now, because there's also the, the full moon happening on January 6th, um, you probably feel right now that there has to be some change in my life in order for me to grow. But you want to skip the pain. Okay? Like as much as possible, I don't want to feel the pain during this transition. You don't want to break someone's heart. You don't want to hurt anyone. You're more about, your concern is like, I want to do better, okay? Because these are two of swords. Because um, the ace of swords is prior to this, which means that like, you did open the line of communication, can be with your person, but then you, you started to think, it's like, why do I have to have this conversation with them? So I got you thinking, it's always me who tries. It's always me who makes that effort. It's right here. Okay. So first is this, like we have to digest the crossroads in the partnership. You're going to sit down on this. Remember, if the card is sitting down, it only means that you're not making that effort or that move for now. So and then you have a 10 of wands, which only means there is this burden, there's hardship in this relationship. So um, the part of the 10 of wands in numerology is like it is the result. Nine of Wands is you were feeling scared. The Ten is the outcome. So all the pain that you have felt from this relationship has to be let go. You have so much responsibility. You took everything to heart. You have this is uh, as a wand, it's fire. So you are passionate about it. You take things always to the next level. Meaning, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make it 100. If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make sure it is accomplished. So you're the kind of partner where it is always 100 in the relationship. The responsibilities for the family, if you guys are married, you took that onto you. Meaning like you put that um, burden on you because you do say yes to everything, 10 of ones. That's the, that's the what call it, gravity of a 10 of ones. Responsibility, you know, like you could be working. This is like bringing home the bacon. You're the breadwinner with the 10 of ones. So as you see here, like you're, you're, you're coming in with something heavy, but it's also time to let go of this heavy energy. You can't carry the cross for everyone, for your kids, for your husband, for your wife, for your mom and dad. You can't. You can't keep up with this. All right. So this is about releasing, letting go. Then you have a three of pentacles, which means for the Libra, it's really about... Um, Having this, what, open conversation, understanding where the person is coming from, and what is uh, being exchanged here, Three of Pentacles. Like, what's your take? Not just you, but also them. So there's a lot of listening, guidance, consideration of everyone in the family, the person that you're dating, or in a relationship. There's a lot of back and forth here, Three of Pentacles. Okay, that's that one. Now, the challenge of the Three of Pentacles is the Pentacles to have its light. The only Pentacle that is in the dark. Okay? Which only means that, because next is the Four of Pentacles, prior to this Two of Pentacles, you're busy. You will try to make time to understand everyone uh, like that is connected to you for this month. 
and it's like your growth. You're now manifesting. Um, you're now manifesting growth. Okay. Then you have the full card. Mm -hmm. The full card is about second chances, leap of faith. Um, the full card is about it's more of like a when can I get a break? <laughs> okay. So January is I want to let down my hair. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let me balayage my hair, basically. That's what you want, okay? Like, you want the works, you know? I don't know if it's balayage is still a thing. Maybe a, what do you call that? What's that? Um, there's this perm in Korea that they do also. Love that kind of perm, okay? So maybe that's a mode, okay? Like, you want to let loose. You want to let go. You want to go away. K2 in the first house, I can't blame you for that, okay? You want to find your spiritual... Oh, and in numerology, 2023 um, is number seven, which means a lot of spiritual journey, okay? We're going to soak a little bit on your monthly. A lot of spirituality that you're probably going to try to connect. I don't know your personal number, personal year number, okay? There's a lot of Vedic astrology astrologer who does numerology. They're amazing, so Google that, okay? Because we're on the number seven, okay? For 2023. Now, the Three of Wands is optimism. Okay. Your person can be the one who's waiting for you to talk. Your person, Three of Wands, with the Four of Wands, expect that you will stay. But there's a part of you that is exhausted. Rahu in the seventh will put that effort, make that work. There's so much karma. Okay. When it where, wherever it goes. It will provide you that energy. And it did provide you with the Ten of Wands. It did give you that energy to work that relationship. But here's the thing. When you're putting the energy and the person is not, then that becomes complicated. Okay. Then you have a person who takes a chill pill, a laid back kind of energy, Four of Swords. Like, you, know, you have to give them instructions, instruction to do something. You know, like without you, the house will not function. Okay, like I would hear that from a lot of moms over there. Okay, <laughs> like the household will be a mess. You know, nobody's gonna pick up the the laundry. All the clothes and the shirts will be on the floor. You know, you could be that you're feeling that in the relationship, even though you're not married or you don't have kids. It's you who picks up everybody's mess. You know, because you're the yin. You care. It matters. And then other people will just be sitting in the couch, drinking their beer, watching football. I hear you on that one. Okay. So, so this is where you want to be like, I, I, there's nothing wrong with being a housekeeper, but I'm not here to be your housekeeper, right? So that can be the energy for January for you. And then your person is saying, page of pentacles, I'm sorry if there is something wrong. <laughs> All right. Oh, I need a break. This is what you're going to tell your person, the full card. And then the page of pentacles is your person, younger energy, a little bit immature, takes a chill pill every time. They're more of the, it's not really like a couch potato because I feel like it's more of like restoration hardware couch potato, okay? If you don't know the cloud, okay, from restoration hardware, then you better get on my level because bougie as F and so expensive and high maintenance. Your person is lazy. <laughs> there we go. Four of swords with the four of ones, they expect you to work. They expect you to do so much. And the only thing you're getting here is always the apology of Page of Pentacles. And that's why with the ten of ones over here, Sal, I am so tired. I am so tired of this relationship. I am at the breaking point. Mm -hmm. Find out more. Link in the description box below. Subscribe to our unlimited extended reading.